How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio. Welcome back to the channel. What we're going to be doing today in DaVinci Resolve is getting colorful motion trails. Super easy. It's going to be a quick video. Let's do this. So hover over your clip and go to open infusion page. All right. And then you're just going to hit shift space, add a merge node. Okay. Add it right there. And then go right here to apply mode and change this to screen. Okay. And then let's go ahead and add another merge node. Okay. And then we'll change this apply mode to, you're going to scroll down. Where is it at? Oh, difference right there. And then go ahead and connect this to the background input. All right. Now click an empty space and add a time speed node. Add that. Go ahead and connect it to the background input. And then go ahead and right click on delay, go to modify width, and then you're going to go and click shake. Okay. Then you're going to go to modifiers and you're going to change the minimum to negative 10, change the maximum to 10. Okay. And then you can go to smoothness and bring it down around five or six. And now what you're going to do is connect the time speed to the foreground input of your merge two node. And now I'm going to click on my merge two node and click one so I could see it in the first viewer. And now, dude, my hair. And now what you're going to do is um, add a color correction node after your merge two. And you're going to put it in whatever color you want your uh, kind of motion trails, kind of glitchy motion trails to be, whatever it is. And then you're going to connect this to the foreground of merge one. And then to really sell a, a motion blur effect, go ahead and click the color corrector, shift space, add a frame average. All right. And then we'll just do two frames. So we're not too ridiculous. All right. And then you're going to hit play and you're going to see what you did. It's easy and it's a cool effect. And I will have you know that this works the best with a stationary shot. Okay, just FYI. And if you can see, if we click on frame average, you can see what putting it up and down does. All right, so just go in, play with it. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Like, subscribe, seriously, it helps out. Leave your questions down in the comments. I need to read your comments, all right? That's the one thing I look forward to when I make videos. I will see you in the next one.